I'm Matt Lang and I'm here with Noise Engineering filling in for a moment. And I'm going to show you the Manus Teratos, which is actually a module I was, I, I was involved in the development of. And it is actually one of my favorite oscillators these days because it started off essentially as a modified Basimilis Teratos Alter, which is kind of your basic drum machine. Uh, it does a lot more than just drums, but it's, it's a little bit tamer. And I went to Steven about the BIA and I asked him, would he take my BI and basically send it to hell and back. A few weeks later he showed up at my house with the first prototype of this and this is now what we know as the Manus Teratos that's been out for about a month. So I'm just going to walk through a little bit about what it does. Is that a prototype? This? This is the final. Uh, it came, this, I... Uh, I think they actually have, I, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I believe they might have one of these out right now, but usually they do their own prototype panels. And so this is probably just for the sake of their case, that's that. But I do think they actually do have an actual mutant panning mixer out right now. But, so the way the Manus works, essentially you have to send in a trigger, for the most part, it is a drum module. And you have an envelope up here that it's both your decay and your attack are combined on the same knob. So as you pull it open, you'll hear the attack soften, the decay will get a lot longer. And actually, if you turn it all the way clockwise, it becomes a free-running oscillator, so then you can send pitch to it, it'll be like any other oscillator. about this too, the pitch knob is actually an encoder, so if you press in, then you get coarse, but if you don't press and you just turn, then it's a very, very fine tune, so that I find really handy. And the idea of this is really, it's all based on sawtooth waves, whereas the BIA, it morphs between a bunch of different waveforms from sinusoidal waves, to squares, triangles, saws. This is all entirely saw based, so it's really gnarly. And if we start with something like the saw mod, as it essentially stacks sawtooths and detunes them. It almost sounds like a hard sink a bit. But I find it in my own work, it's very helpful for um, making melodic sequences. There's a low pass filter included in there as well. And that is to be triggered anytime it gets a trigger. Let's actually put the trigger back. It'll trigger the envelope also. basically a very extreme wave folder and it, go, it can really obliterate a signal if you push it far and we turn up the filter. Buy it with the saw mod. And it's, it's really ugly. There is no processing going on at all right now, except purely the raw sound of the manus. If we add profundity, that adds a fair amount of detuning into the signal. And as you can see, as it gets bigger and bigger, or as you increase more parameters, you can really hit sheer noise if you really want to. There are modes here, this will switch between your pitch modes, so you can right here, low, mid, high. These modes are actually, um, all the way to the left is kind of your traditional drum mode from the BIA. If you go to the middle mode, that adds a pitch envelope, just like it does also on the PIA. So you have, you hear the attack of the <clears throat> And all the way to the right, that is FM. So it gets really, it's a different sound, it gets much gnarlier. that's really handy about this too, it's called Bash. And essentially what Bash is, is, it takes your envelope over here and it applies it to a lot of different parameters all at the same time. 
So if we simplify the actual patch itself, we sever basics off, and you start adding batch. It's completely dependent, it's related at least I should say, to the envelope here. So it really affects the sound pretty dramatically. This is currently one of my favorite modules, and given, I mean, a lot of it has to do with the fact that uh, it was kind of custom made for an idea I love, but I use it actually all the time, and I've used it for everything from making bass lines to actually making percussive sounds. Uh, it's actually fantastic at making claps, bizarrely, but it's just a really cool module, and it offers something very different that I haven't seen in really any other module out there, and really all credit goes to Steven and Chris for together coming up with this really magnificent piece of belt.